Let's talk about how to get the F8 menu back so you can boot into safe mode in Windows 10. So first thing you want to do is boot off of the DVD. Now if you're in a virtual machine, then you'll want to boot off the ISO file if you've downloaded it. Or if you're in a physical computer, you'll want to choose F12 at the startup. On most computers, or go into the UEFI or BIOS and change to boot off the DVD. And if you don't have a DVD built into your computer, you can go buy an external one for about $15 to $20. So we'll click Next and click on Repair Your Computer. Let's go ahead and click Troubleshoot. And then we're going to choose the command prompt at the top right. Next, we're going to type a couple of commands. BCD edit, followed by slash set, then brackets, boot, MGR, close the bracket, then display, boot, menu, followed by yes. Hit enter. Now hit the up arrow so you get the same command, and then just erase the, the last two words and replace timeout. 15. That'll give us 15 seconds to press that button. Let's go ahead and enter, and now we will exit. And now we want to turn off the PC rather than click continuing because we want it to get back to that spot where we can press this button. Now, if this is a virtual machine, you'll want to go into settings and firmware and make sure that the hard drive is at the top of the list. If it is a physical computer, then you can just uh, not press any button during the startup to boot from DVD. Just let it go until you get to that point. All right, we'll click Start once again. And now when we boot up, we can go ahead and press F8, and that will give us this advanced setup. We'll go ahead and press the Safe Mode option, which is number 4. And now it will boot up into Safe Mode. And we're given the prompt to log in. Let's go ahead and do that. And you can see now we have made it to safe mode. And a lot of things won't uh, happen, such as certain services won't start, certain physical devices won't work. But that's okay. You made it to safe mode so you can fix any problem that you might have with your computer. And when you're all done, you can go ahead and shut down. And when you restart, it'll just go ahead and restart into normal mode. You won't have to do anything at that point.